Hello everybody, Jardis here, and in today's video, I'm currently at the Horncall Gather Waypoint in Wayfarer Foothills, celebrating Guild Wars 2's 10th anniversary. Now, what Anet decided to do was, in order to celebrate this anniversary, they've added a list of achievements that you can collect in order to gain some currencies to buy the new armor set. Now, these achievements, all most of them, require event completion. So, for example, complete 10 events in the Crystal Desert region, complete 10 events in the Krita region, etc, etc. Well, as you can see here, I've gotten a lot of them already completed, and I'm still working on others, but that's okay. Now, the question is, how do we find these events? Now, a lot of times, you will just happen to be walking along, and you'll happen upon one or two haphazardly. Or, in most cases, you'll map chat, are there any events available? And then you most likely will get a response saying, hey, there's an event at this waypoint or at this point of interest, etc., etc. Now, the problem with that method is, is that sometimes some people are too busy with the event that they don't have the time to reply and therefore precious seconds are wasted. So I've decided to find a way that you can actually find events much faster on your own and hopefully get to them in time before the event is completed so you'll be able to get some <clears throat> excuse me, some achievements added into that. Now what you're going to want to do in order for this trick to work excuse me, is go to your option settings. Now in the general options area, which is the number, which is the top one with the wrench here, you're going to want to go to where it says content guide. It's right next to the mouse icon. What you're going to want to do is change from default to disable personal story. Now the reason why we're doing this is because if you notice on the default my compass is currently pointing to a location that is part of my personal story, which is the Temple of the Forgotten God for this particular tune. But we don't want that. We want it to point to events. So we're just going to go back to Options, select Default, and then select Disable Personal Story. And then you can see it switches to Complete Nearby Events. And now, if you'll also notice on my mini-map, two event icons have just popped up as well as on the world map. See, there's an event there and an event there. That way, I can see where I need to go and get to them without having to ask, hey, are there any events ongoing? Now, the compass will also, if you do not have a, the map fully explored, for example, if you're miss, missing a vista or a point of interest or have not completed hearts, the compass will point to those instead, saying, hey, you have an unexplored vista over here, or there is an unfinished heart, etc., etc. You can ignore those that, but the events will still pop up on your map and your mini map so you have a place point of reference to go to now another thing for the guild wars 2 10th anniversary achievements that are a requirement are things like boss fights for example shadow behemoth the shatterer great jungle worm etc etc now these usually happen at a certain time. Now in order to find the time in which those bosses show up, what you're going to want to do, after I reset everything back to where it should be so I can show this, is you're going to want to go to your chat box here and type up backslash wiki space ET and then hit enter. The ET is short for event timer and when you do this a pop-up window should pop up from your browser that will bring up the wiki page that will display the event timers of what is going on in the world of Guild Wars 2 and they will have them listed such as world bosses Living World Season 1, Living World Season 2, Heart of Thorns, Path of Fire, End of Dragons, etc, etc. Now there will be an icon in the shape in the form of a red line that will show your current time but it will list what is coming and what is going on currently now i can't show it on here because the last time i attempted this when i in a previous recording it actually just stopped the entire recording so i'm not going to display it here but at least this is what you would type if you'd like to see what other events or boss vices are excuse me boss fight 
fights are approaching. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. Feel free to share this with anyone who is also looking for events, and hopefully, I hope to see you again in the next video. And until then, happy birthday, Guild Wars 2!